Welcome to PC Mac. Today we are going to show you how you can go ahead and install WireGuard server as well as WireGuard client on your Open Media Vault with the help of Talker and Portainer. So let's do it. First of all, let's just take you to the Open Media Vault that is right here and let's log in to our portainer and I have already downloaded the image that we need for this project that is this one Linux Server WireGuard latest let me just take you to the image as well Linux Server WireGuard so we are going to use this image let me just take you to the bottom and you can see that it's available for ARM64 now what we need to do is with we just need to copy all these steps from here and this time I'm making it really fast so you can also do it in that particular manner let's just go ahead and paste it over here so we will try to make it really fast so you can easily get what I'm trying to do now let's open the terminal and login to our SSH so we are done let's show you the ID that we have we the UID and GID that we need to put it on our image that is 101 and 100 so let's move back here and we'll use the whole command so docker create with the name wireguard and cap address net admin cap address is module and let's add it from here now the GID is 100 and the time zone is Asia Kolkata for me you can check the time zone from your open media vault by logging into it and uh, you need to go into date and time and you can see your time zone right here you can just copy it and paste it here now it required a server URL so for that let's go ahead and create a URL in our duck TNS let me just log in So I'm logged in. I have already one domain. Uh, I can also use this one, but let's create one more. Let's name it as wire PC Mac for WireGuard and add domain. So that's also done. Wire PC Mac. So our address is wirepcmac.tucktns.org. So let's just go ahead and paste it here and then tucktns.org and delete this optional now the server port is 51820 let's delete this one as well and peer ps is equals to 1 so here is the main thing available that if we want our wireguard to run in the server mode we need to fill all these details at least from here these four environments server url server ports peers and PSTNS. but if you don't want to run our wireguard into a server mode we want to run the wireguard into client mode we don't need to fill these details so let's just fill these details let it be on peer one and just and make it as auto leave that as it is and then just remove this one this is optional and the port will be 51820 now the path for our config folder so let's just copy the path from our open media vault and paste it here then forward slash containers forward slash wire wirecard 
let's just remove this forward slash and that's also done now let's copy from here and or you can just leave this as it is lib module colon lib module it will be automatically generated no problem in that or if you want you can just use this in front of it so that's also done now this will create a folder in our containers so let's just go there and create a folder so name it as yrg2ard card and then inside this one we need to create config and one more folder lib and then under it module so that's also done now leave that as it is sysctl and copy this whole command like that and move to the terminal and paste it here so it says invalid reference format let's check what's the mistake so there is a dot over there let's copy it again move to the terminal and then paste it again and hit enter so this is done now we need to move to our container that is right here and go to containers you can see a new image with the name wireguard so we just need to start it so let's just click on start so you will see a uh, error here listen udp 00051820 it's already in use so what we can do here just open the image go to duplicate and add it and just uh, name it something else so let's name it as 50 51850 i have tried the image lots of time that's why it might give me that error in your case it will not so you just need to do that and that will be it now we can deploy the container and replace so it's done and it's running now once everything is done what you need to do is you need to go to your router and forward the port 51820 because that is the port used by wireguard and that will help you to run the wireguard container so let me just show you so as you can see i have opened a d-link emulator just go to advance and then just put your name here like wireguard and then the port number so in our case the port number is 51820 51820 and the AND port is also 51820 and the IP address is the IP address of our open media world that is 26 and that's it just save the settings and that will be done and after that what you need to do is again you need to go into your terminal now from here what we need to do is we need to check whether our container is running in the server mode or it's in the client mode so to do that what we need to do is go back here and move little bit to the so we need to use this command to add another pair let me just copy it and you can check that uh, when we run the container we have the peers in our config file it's right now empty let's just connect to it again and check it's empty so what we need to do is go to the terminal and then paste this command here to add the peers and hit enter once we do that it will say something like that wireguard is not set up in server mode so what we need to do is just go back again and then just restart our wireguard server now as we restart the server let's check it one more time and once we do that you can see that we have the peer available let me just show you 
so we have add the peer so peer one is already existed let's just click here and check again so we have made one mistake here let me just show you one more time we need to remove this from here I have uh, put all the containers in doc folder let me just show you so if you are not creating any folder it will automatically create the same path that you have entered here let's just go to the other location and show you from there so the folder is created here but we don't have permission to view this folder let's just change the path into our container that will be good so you, you can see how you can change the path as well go to wireguard stop the service and then we need to click on duplicate and add it and just move down to volumes and just remove this one from here so you need to be sure that the path is correct otherwise the file will be reside in some other folder let's just deploy it again and this time you will see the folders right here in WireGuard config you can see code DNS templates and the peer one will be available in a moment and the code DNS is right here let's just move to lib modules so we need to run the command again let's check whether it's in server mode or not so now WireGuard is not set in the server mode so we have the correct settings what we need to do is just restart the container one more time and wait for a while so it's restarting now in between let me just show you what you need to do it on your phone so we have the play store open and you just need to type WireGuard here and you need to install it I have already installed it so just click open to open it I have two files already registered so what you need to do is just click on the plus sign so the better is uh, you can just scan the code and the file will be automatically downloaded so what you need to do is again go ahead and do the command and uh, wait for a moment so I have refreshed the container again and check the command so you will find all these commands and everything in the document I have listed the document in the description you can always go ahead and check that out or we can just remove the container and run it one more time so that will be a new container altogether so the new container is done and let's move here refresh and uh, click here and change the port let's change it to 45 and deploy it again so it's running let's check whether the server mode is up or not again it says so uh, it's not in server mode let's just restart the container it's just needs some time to uh, run the server mode so we need to just wait for one or two minutes so the container is restarted successfully and we have the WireGuard open on our phone as well now let's check whether it's up or not so we need to just do a reboot because of I have tried it lots of time that's why it might not taking it so a reboot might require so you are going to do it on a fresh install so it will not take that long on your Raspberry Pi so just wait so now as you can see after the restart let's just wait for a moment now you can see the server is up and we have the QR code now let me take you to my phone and uh, turn on the recorder and you can see uh, you will have a plus sign on the bottom right corner just click on that and scan for the QR code once you do that and uh, scan the screen it will ask for the tunnel name 
just name is anything that you want so let's just name it as android or rasp create tunnel and it's done now what you need to do is just turn it back on it's just like that and once you click on it it will give you the result so you can see the endpoint is wire pc mac duck dns dot org and it starts sending the packets in 296444 you can see on the bottom now and the address is right here dns is also changed the port number that we are trying to set up is 51820 and it set it up and the public key you can see right here so that is the way you can install wireguard on your open media world 5 but you need to do a port forward on your router so please go ahead and do that and this will work absolutely fine on your open media world so if you have any problem regarding this tutorial you have the comment section or you can also ask me on the website comment section let me just show you inside every document you will see a comment section on the bottom you can directly ask me over there and I will definitely answer your question so you can see on the bottom you can leave a reply right here and if you like my work you can always go ahead and buy me a coffee and subscribe to our youtube channel and if you want any other help regarding your computers you can also contact me on my official telegram chat that is right here so that's it for today please share this video with your family and friends please like share and subscribe thanks for watching bye bye take care have a nice day